Mary's in Syracuse. Hi, Mary. Welcome to the Dave Ramsey Show. Hi, Dave. Thank you so much for taking my call. Sure. What's up? Um, my question is that I am facing a potential layoff between now and the end of the year. And although um, my husband and I, I feel, have a pretty good snowball effect going on, um, I don't know. Like, if I lose my job, I've already done the math, like, based on making minimum payments and keeping the roof over our head, um, we would technically be in the hole about $700 on just my husband's income. Mm -hmm. So then I had the thought that maybe I should take a loan from my 401k now to pay off uh, some debt. Then, you know, should I get laid off, that would oh, then that's obviously be a horrible be idea. Um, that's a okay, horrible so. idea. Here's why. If you yeah. if you get laid off, that loan becomes, it's called due in full instantly. And if you don't pay it, you're going to get penalized and taxed as if you'd done an early withdrawal. Never, right. never, never borrow on a 401k. No. You can't borrow your way out of debt, kiddo. It doesn't work. No, and I know it was like paying debt with debt. That's why yep. I didn't think it was a good idea. Yeah, it's a bad um, idea, double bad idea, because borrowing on a 401k oh. is a bad idea on top of that. So anyway, oh. what I would do is this. Okay, we got storm clouds on the horizon. It may rain is what you're saying. And right. so what do we do? At the point that you think that it's 50-50, a 50% chance, realistically, you're gonna. it's a flip of a coin as to whether you're going to get laid off, I would just stop your debt snowball and pile up cash. Okay. Just stop. That was going to be my, my next idea is because we do have – about 6000 in savings right now. Well, um, you're not we doing were... it right then. What we, teach well, you, what we teach you to do is have 1000 in savings. How much debt do you have? Right. I just, I just actually came across you uh, three weeks ago. Oh, okay. So I'm, I'm still listening to all the podcasts. Okay. So well, when, what, when, what we teach you... is baby step one is $1,000. Anything above that that is not in retirement, any kind of investments or savings above that, goes on your debts in baby step two. All of your debts except your home are baby step two, listed smallest to largest, and attacked in that order. Minimum payments on everything but the little one, and in this case, $5,000 and anything else you can squeeze out of your budget goes on the little one. That is if you don't think you're at 50-50 on, uh, on the work loss right now. Is it just a general right. vague fear, or you think you're 50-50? Um, I don't. I think I got a few months to go. Um, no, that wasn't what I asked. If, I'm asking if if there's a fifty percent chance at the end of the year you don't have a job. Yes, uh, yes, there's a fifty percent chance I will be without a job by the end of the year. So you're pretty sure you're not going to have a job. I'm pretty sure because our I work in finance and everything's going to be outsourced. Okay. Then you need to stop everything. Don't don't pay down on your debt. Don't take the five thousand out that I was talking about. Don't start the baby steps. Stop all four hundred one k investing. Stop any investing of any kind, and just pile up cash to get ready for the storm. After okay. the storm passes, which means after you get your new job, and by the way, I'm looking for that job now. If you're that sure you're going to lose your job, get a new job. Okay. Don't sit around and wait on them to shoot you in the face. You know? Dodge the bullet, right? Get out of there. Okay. They pretty much told you you're gone. So well, let's just let's not be in denial. Go get a new job. And, um, okay. you know, and so once this storm has passed and you've got things stable again, then I would walk you up those baby steps. But in the meantime, I want you to have a really nice rainy day fund, a really nice umbrella. Let's add to that six thousand. Let's get that six six thousand up to twenty thousand. And um, and but now, if you get a new job and you get stabilized in that job, then we start and we take any money that you've saved up and we throw it at those debts. How much debt do you have, not counting your house? Um, well, we rent, so we don't have a mortgage. So it's debt between me and my husband. Um, all together, we have one hundred and seventy-four thousand dollars in debt. One hundred and thirty-five thousand is his student loan. Good lord! Which are in an payment plan. What does he mean? What does he do? He's a teacher. A teacher for one hundred and thirty-five thousand? <laughs> he's a, he's a teacher. He's got two bachelors and a master's, and he's been searching like crazy for trying to get a teaching position. And this year. Is the first year he hasn't had to be a substitute teacher, but the school he works for only pays eighteen thousand a year. 
with well, no benefits. A, this is a series of bad choices. If you're going to spend $135,000 on your education, you need to go find something to do to make more than eighteen. Yeah. That's an unacceptable career path given the debt you've got. He gave up his rights to decide to do something that cheap. He needs to go make some more money than that. Can he teach at the at the collegiate level with his masters? Um, he's looked to get into like teaching as a um, adjunct teacher at colleges. Yeah, tutors uh, on the side. Like he's you know searching hard. Is just I don't know what it is with this area in New York, but schools are not replacing teachers as they retire. Well, if you're talking about teaching in in high school or below K through twelve. Uh, he's got too much education and too much debt to take that job. He's going to have to make more than that. No, I agree. 135000 bucks. Oh, my gosh. How much do you guys owe on your cars? Uh, his car is paid off, and I owe 3000 on mine. Okay. Cars aren't your problem, then. What's that rest of that debt? Um, we have a personal loan, and we have a couple credit cards, and then I have student loan debt. Okay. All right. Cool. All right. Yeah. You're looking for a job. He's looking for a job and you pile up cash right now. Stop all investing. Pile up cash. You have a mess on your hands and you're right. You can't, um, you know, you can't cut through this if you lose this job. So you need to be finding a new job given that yours is that unstable. And of course, he's got to continue to pursue a career that that makes a lot more than $18,000 a year. And uh, if both of you are looking and there's no teaching positions in the area that pay more than 18 grand you may need to be looking in a different town a different area you may be need to look at a move to get your guys out of this mess I mean, you have a, a a real serious student loan problem here and you have to address that with income is the only way to do it so hey hang on i'm going to send you a copy of the book the total money makeover to help you with this process and you call me back if i can help you some more okay this is the dave ramsey show